welcome back to a new vlog. I'm starting this week in bed again because I've been up for almost an hour. I was just planning my day um, in my good notes planner and I'm about to go get up and start my morning but i just wanted to start the vlog because the past two days i didn't really vlog much i still need to film like a vlog outro for the last vlog because i kind of like half assed it on the weekend and well i wouldn't say half ass it's just that i'm in my pmdd like two weeks of pmdd and i'm like struggling but i'm also like working really hard on not going back to like the old habits and like i don't know just trying to keep up with like my routine and the things that I've been doing. So, today is just a new day. I have a long day ahead of work and I have a driver's lesson. So, um, a lot to do today, but I'm just gonna take you guys along my week again. I went to the gym two times last week, which is already more than the weeks before. So, hopefully, this week I'll reach three and then I can just keep up with that. You know, I guess it's like, um, easy to be like oh i'm gonna work out three times this week but that doesn't mean you can just do it like and like perfectly follow your workout routine right away like it's okay if you start with just like one day and then the next week you go two days and then the week after you go three and then maybe the week after you go two days and then the next week you go three again like it's fine if it like fluctuates until you get into that habit and routine of going i always feel like in these weeks it's like harder to go but then I always feel better when I do go. My eyes are watering so bad. I'm going to go get out of bed, but I just wanted to start off the vlog. Hope you guys are loving the vlogs because I've been loving making them for you and I feel good about them. So. to go to the gym um, i'm actually gonna do upper body today because my knee has been killing me since well it started yesterday um in the morning like i woke up and just to give you the backstory my left knee i got surgery on twice when i was like a young teen i think my first surgery i was like 12 or 13 and okay i think it's the same in english but i don't know how to pronounce it in english so i'm just put it on the screen basically i think a year after i got half of it removed well there's two in your knee and like one of them half of it got removed and then a year later i was still getting physical therapy i was still in a lot of pain so they took the other part out and so ever since then i haven't had surgery on my knees but i had to get physical therapy many times they always told me like you need to strengthen your leg muscles to help like damage that can be caused to your knee over time because what they took out was also kind of like a protective layer if that makes sense so this is typically a surgery that like football players will get or just people that are like a lot older so i was really young to even have this but i've had knee issues since i was like a baby yesterday morning like i woke up to my knee just burning like on the inside it's like burning and kind of stinging and it'll kind of go away for a bit and it'll come back but i've noticed today i'm still definitely experiencing it so i'm not gonna train my legs for now i think i need to wait maybe i because i was training my legs maybe i was doing it too heavy and it caused my knee to maybe be like i don't know so it was like he <laughs> just passed out over here he's so tired from our walk um maybe i'll like walk on the treadmill for a bit and then i'm just gonna do upper body to be really fucking honest with you like i'm at a point right now where i would love to just have like a few days off but i can't i have like so many things that i need to do 
and I just need to get through today and then tonight I can relax again but because I'm in my PMDD week like this is so much harder to do because first of all my energy is just not as much there I'm really not even interested in doing anything but I'm keeping myself interested now because if I just let myself get into that whole mindset again I'm gonna go into my bad habits and I'm just gonna spiral out of control but yeah to be really fucking honest with you like I would love to just go into bed and lay in bed all day today but that's not what we're gonna do if you're feeling like that i feel you if you have the opportunity to do so do it because it is good to give yourself those breaks but if you can't and you have to get up and get to work and do your shit just like me we're gonna get through it okay the faster i work and get my shit done the faster i can relax today so anyways i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna go get my stuff and go to the gym so i'll see you guys there actually i don't know how much i'll film at the gym if i'm just on a treadmill i'll probably just have a few clips of me walking on it because that's in like an area where like a lot of people are and i think it's so uncomfortable to put down the camera there and i don't really want to piss off people where they're like oh you're filming me you can't film me you know especially because at the time that i'm going out i noticed there's more like older people which i love like because they don't bother me you know what i mean like, I don't want to piss them off with my camera because they don't probably get it at all. Like, I feel like with old people, it's like they're going to be like, why are you filming me? <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> First time I'm getting ready at my little vanity. It's definitely not done yet. I have to still organize all my makeup. I did bring over my mirror from my studio and popped it over here so I can at least sit here and do my makeup. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the best angle, but we'll have to deal for now. I'm not gonna put on like a lot of makeup. I just want to do a little bit, like maybe some brow gel. I think I'm gonna throw on a wig with a beanie. Well, I'm filming one video and some story content but i think it would be easy for me to just throw a wig on i'm getting my hair braided on saturday which i'm so excited about it's definitely gonna take a lot of time off of my hands and i also have a fun try on clothing haul for this vlog which i will show you guys when i get back from my um driver's lesson it's probably like the next clip you're gonna see i put my makeup on this twisty thing it's not too organized just a little bit i thought it would be fun to have like my go-to products just out in the open i think i'm gonna use one of my closet drawers to store the rest of my makeup in because some of them are empty and it's like a nice way to store some of my makeup in like containers because i have like a bunch of foundations still and like i don't need it all out here you know i just kind of want my go-to and current favorite products and like maybe new products i just want them out here but i don't need like all of my makeup so <laughs> the amount of times i've straightened this wig is crazy but i don't care The brand that I want to introduce to you guys today is Halara. They are an activewear brand that kind of combines activewear and fashion in one, which is my favorite. You guys know I love activewear and I especially love styling it into like my everyday clothing, especially when I'm working from home. They have some really, really nice basics. Most of the things I got are in black because you guys know I love black. Okay, don't yell at me. But also most of the things that I got, you can get in different colors. Like they have so many color options. So just check the website. If you see something, you're like, mm, I kind of want that in pink. Have a look because they probably will have it in pink. So Halara is actually sponsoring this part of the video. Thank you so much for sponsoring my video today. Um, sponsors really help me continue to make these videos for you guys. So yeah, I always want to make sure that I 
introduce brands or include brands that I really like and feel passionate about and they just have so many cute stuff i was like i need to share this with you guys because i think you'll love it so yeah let's go ahead and try everything on and as i'm wearing the pieces i'll tell you what i like most about them and why i would recommend it okay here we have the first set that i kind of styled together so we have these leggings what i love about these is the fact that it has like a v shape at the front like it's a crossover it just looks so flattering on your body like it kind of cinches in your waist and really helps shape your body um these are pretty much full length. They look smaller when you take them out of the packaging. It's like, are these for babies? But no, they stretch out. Love these. They also have pockets, which is really nice for when you're at the gym and you need to like put your key somewhere. Um, I cannot wait to wear these. I'm literally gonna wear these to work out on Wednesday. So this is like a top and sports bra in one, like that. And I'm pretty sure this is pet hair resistant. They have some pet hair resistant pieces. And I mean, if you have a dog like me, get it because <laughs> why not they do have padding in them um usually i don't like when like bras or sports bras have padding but with these i don't mind it um as you can tell it perfectly matches the leggings and then i would just pair this with this cute little zip up i'll show you what it looks like close in a second it has thumb holes which i i'm a sucker for thumb holes and i think this is just such a nice and basic gym outfit like and even like you don't even have to wear this in gym if i wear this getting groceries i feel like such a like kim k bad b like put together like i just came from pilates and now i'm just quickly getting my groceries like <laughs> then this is what it looks like all zipped up also has two pockets on each side with zippers so again if you're working out you need to keep your key or something in your jacket you can do that and i love this also nice if it's like cold and maybe you're working out outside, this is gonna keep your neck warm, so. Next, I got these sweatpants and I love the fit of these. I'm pretty sure I sized up cause I wanted them to be like oversized and you could probably size like one or two sizes up. It has one of these things at the bottom, but I just keep them like this cause I like when they're like baggy. These are super comfortable and the color is really nice, kind of like a dark gray. Mm, I wouldn't say it's blue. It's definitely like a gray. It kind of looks maybe green on camera. It's definitely not green. So cute. I love these. Of course, I had to get them in black. <laughs> wouldn't be me if I didn't get them in black. So these are the same in a black pair. They do have um, these like drawstrings if you want to make it tighter. That's why I said like you can size up like even two sizes because if the waist is too big, you can cinch it in. Um, but I quite like the fit of like one size up. And I am 160 centimeters, if you're wondering about the length, because that might also make you want to size up more. But for me, this is like the perfect length. Um, love the fit. It's definitely kind of like a, it almost kind of feels like a corduroy. It's definitely not corduroy, but it's just like a thicker fabric, which I like. It's not like a thin, flimsy pair of sweatpants. So that's always really good. So these pants, ignore the way I tied this. I definitely could have done that prettier. <laughs> I'm so bad at like tying stuff. It's always so ugly. These pants are not active wear. They're kind of more like a dressy pant, but I wanted to give these a try because they have the drawstrings because a lot of times pants like this are too big on me. And I don't know, I think this is like a nice way to create more of like a casual look. It has like two strings in there. Maybe for my personal liking, I might just take one of them out because um, I think two is maybe a little bit too bulky for me. But you can also just wear it like loose like this. Um, but if I completely untie it, it's going to drop down. <laughs> I don't think you want to see that. But these are super nice. More of like a dressy pan, but also still casual because this is like a drawstring. And I think these are going to be really nice for spring when it gets a little bit warmer to wear these out. They're nice and like flowy. And yeah, these are super easy to style. Okay, I'm obsessed with this top, first of all. I thought it was going to be too big on me when I saw it, but it literally fits so perfect. It's basically a sports bra and a top in one. Literally genius. I don't know. It has padding in there, so you definitely, like, I can feel the support. But then it also has long sleeves. And it has thumb holes. Like, sorry? Sorry, I'm obsessed. Like, yeah. I want to work out in this right now. Like, how cute is that? And then it has, like, this. And it basically just looks like you're wearing a top with a sports bra underneath, but it's two in one. Period. These flared pants are super comfortable, very soft, um, nice and thick. 
I would say size down on these because they're a little bit too big on me. I can get away with it, of course, especially if I gain some weight again and I get thick. But uh, yeah, I feel like you could size down on these because they're super stretchy. So if you size down, it's just going to be a bit more snug and like fit even better. But you guys, I'm obsessed. I am obsessed. Sorry, this length is perfect. Oh. Sorry, I already wore these. <laughs> They're a little bit dirty. I wore these the other day. I think this is from Blue. Like after he, I don't even know if you can see that. After he ate, he like has a dirty mouth and rubs it all over me. So this top is kind of the same concept. It's like a sports bra and a top in one. This one is a little bit too big on me. So I would say size down in these because this is a bit more loose. It would probably look better if it was like tight like this. So I'd say size down, but I love how it looks like you have this like little shrug on with a sports bra like how cute is that and i would totally wear this like outside of working out as well like that's why their brand is so nice because it's like active wear and fashion so you can wear this basically to whatever you want i wanted to save the best for last it looks kind of weird with my beanie but my hair isn't done i'm sorry <laughs> envision this with like a really nice hairstyle right like all done up this dress oh, look at the slit and the body is bodying okay it's so nice and stretchy it's so flattering like and you can in the back there's ties so i could make this tighter i'm not going to right now but i could like make it a little bit tighter so that it doesn't like fall down but this is so pretty and like i don't have anywhere to wear this to but even having this for the summer like i love i love the length it's like a midi and you could like pull it up but i mean the slit is a it's a little high maybe don't do that <laughs> I love this and it's just so comfortable. It's a nice cotton, like stretchy and like, I'm obsessed. I never wear dresses too. So like whenever I see myself in this, I'm like, okay, period. <laughs> I'm gonna have links to all the pieces I showed you in the description. I have a coupon code for you guys. I'm not sure if it's Lisa O or Lisa Zero. I will show it on screen and that's like the exact code and the one in the description. But if you use my code, you can get 15% off. So if you do plan on buying anything, don't forget to use it because I mean, who doesn't want to save money, right? And it also shows the brand that obviously you love the pieces because I showed them to you. So, and yeah, thank you again to Halara for sponsoring this video. And I'm now going to change and clean this mess up and continue my work day. <laughs> I finished work early for today. It's 4.45 and I'm done. I mean, okay, I still have to send selects from a brand and I just put a bunch of shit in my car, but I just wanna look back at it tonight and then go through it again and make sure that I like everything that I picked because I can be quite impulsive when it comes to online shopping. And even when I am working with a brand, I wanna make sure I get pieces that I'm actually gonna wear or style. So I'm just gonna let it, I'm just gonna let it simmer in my car. <laughs> until later tonight and i'll send it to my manager but besides that i did everything i filmed my sneakers collection um i just exported all my vlog footage the only thing that's annoying is my airdrop isn't working just posted on my story and asked if anyone knows how to fix it because why is my airdrop not working okay like what's going on um so anyways but i finished my work for today and i'm so happy about it i set the intention today to have a productive work day and i fucking did my driver's lesson went so good today very happy about that so i can actually take that off of my priorities for the day definitely a nice feeling after having those two days on the weekend where i was kind of like oh my god am i just gonna spiral out of control again i'm so happy with the things i got done like i feel so good about it only thing i didn't do today was journal i just didn't end up feeling like it this morning like but that's okay we'll try again tomorrow maybe i'll do it tonight it's still out there i can still tick it off like whenever i'm ready blue cha He's like trying to find crumbs from his food in the corner and he wants me to move his bowls so that he can get into the corners and lick the crumbs off the floor. And I'm doing it too. Look at me, like spoiling you. Go eat the crumbs, boo. <laughs> I'm about to go to my mom's. I'm going to, actually I'm first going to go to the coffee shop and get myself some weed. <laughs> Because now I really feel like I deserve it. Like The only thing I want to do when I get back home tonight is just do some cleaning around the house. I'm going to get a few groceries before I get back home. And then if it's not too late. I'm just going to play some Sims. Hopefully this motivates you as well. Because um, when I started the day, I was kind of dreading it. 
which happens a lot especially if i have a lot of things to do i'm like oh god today's gonna be a lot but then i did everything and i'm like it doesn't even matter I'm like excuse me i can do this every day <laughs> um also your guys's messages and comments and dms and everything i've just they just make me feel so good keep them coming please <laughs> i need them <laughs> no but oh and there's such a pretty sunset right now i'm like dying this is like perfect what's happening your messages and your comments like you keep me going for real like yeah so that has also like made me feel really good just reading your stories and and you taking the time out of your day to send me like a personal message like that just means the world to me so back from my mom's i'm exhausted it's actually a little bit late it's 9 30 but we were just talking I, I was talking a lot as well i just needed to get shit off my chest but it was good it was nice i ended up getting some groceries on the way back which is also why it's even later i had to get a couple things i wanted more my mom made such a good pasta like i've love my dinner tonight and i wanted to recreate it but they didn't have the most important ingredient that i needed which was a shrimp and so i was like let me get something else so i got some other stuff I, this is not my favorite yogurt but they didn't have the other one so so i had to get this because i was able to get strawberries again something in my fridge smells it's probably this that's disgusting I think that was it. <laughs> I'm still going to try and get the ingredients sometime this week because I want to make it. Um, let me check if my grapes are still good. It's not good right now. Just for the weekend. Or if I just am feeling lazy. Just for the pasta. them up tomorrow when i make my breakfast i like these when i want to make like a quick sauce or like seasoning i needed some body wash that's all Ow. that is all for today i'm gonna relax Get ready for bed. No, Lou just did the cutest little stretch and yawn. I love him. Oh, like a stretchy. Make you all poop He smells daisy. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I'm getting ready for the day. Just hopped out the shower and I'm gonna do my skincare. I'm actually going to my mom's with Blue this morning because I have a vet appointment with him this afternoon. So I'm gonna drop him off of my mom's because the vet is like walking distance from her. Then I'm gonna work at my studio for a little bit, go to the vet, get my lashes done, and then go back home. But he's just gonna be staying at my mom's for today. So yeah, it's gonna be a long day, but I really wanna go to the vet with him because he so his paws i think he has like some, my mom said this he has like specific type of paws where the pads are like really thick and he's been licking his paws a lot recently and i noticed that the inside of his paws is like kind of red and irritated almost like it's bleeding so i'm thinking either he needs like a supplement or maybe there's something going on there so today we're going to the vet finally to get it checked out because obviously my baby cannot be in pain or have something going on with his paws i need to fix it so so what we're doing today, I'm going to put some clothes up on Vinted. Um, I also have a bunch of shoes to put on it. So I don't know, I might actually do that first before I leave and then do a couple of clothes when I'm at my studio. Um, I need to ship a few orders and that's like the most I have to do today. Um, and then obviously I have the two appointments. So yeah, um, I don't know how much I'll vlog today because I don't know if I can really vlog at the vet. I'm going to try to film something with my phone, but I don't want it to be awkward. And then... I'm actually going to ask my lash tech if she's fine with me maybe vlogging the appointment or just setting up my camera because I've never done that. Um, but I always want to make sure that the person's comfortable with it because if she's not, then I'm not going to do it. But I will ask her today. And if she is, then you guys will see me get my lashes done for the first time. Um, I actually waited three weeks this time. I've been really good at not plucking. 
be proud of me. I've not plugged at all this year yet. So I'm really proud because last month, if you watched my December vlog, my eyes were bald, okay? <laughs> blew off at my mom's i was there for like a little bit and now i'm at my studio i'm gonna put some clothes online i put two shoes online at home let me see if anyone actually no i put a pair of shoes and then like this gucci wallet that i'm selling you got you guys what i find so annoying obviously because i have my own business i like pay taxes and stuff right and like i always pay everything on time like i make sure that i always everything that i have to pay every month i make sure i do it and now i have a fucking letter saying that i didn't pay something in november which is not even true now i have to go and email my account and be like hey i already paid this can you please tell them because i'm not gonna fucking pay it again <sighs> so annoying anyways i'm like excited to start like a new tax year like last year i had to pay taxes from two years in a row because i switched over from like i don't really know how to say this in english actually but i did this like switch where the taxes from 21 moved to 22 so i paid taxes twice last year and it was just such a headache so this year i'm like i'm gonna start out fresh but then they throw this shit on me i'm like where are y'all getting this information from anyways i'm not gonna try to you know like stuff like this always gives me anxiety like anything that has to do with like money and like i don't know like a lot of money, like stuff like that always gives me anxiety, but I'm really trying to work on my like money mindset because it, with me, it's like really deep rooted from like my childhood. And I don't know if, it, if I would call it trauma or just like childhood experience. And, and I've been working really hard to try and make that switch because all it does is just stress me out and give me anxiety for no reason. So I'm just gonna try to let that go for today. But either way, I wanted to share that with you guys because I just want to be real you know anyways i'm gonna go ahead and post some stuff on vinted it's currently 12 15. i think we're gonna spend like an hour posting things on vinted and i'm gonna ship the few orders that i have and i think by the time that i'm done with that i already have to go back to my mom's to pick up blue for our vet appointment let me also just i need to fill in my tracker i didn't wake up at six i woke up at seven because i went to bed so late so i gave myself an extra hour let me go sit down i took my supplements Having one of these trackers in whatever planning system you use is just so nice so that you can like keep up with certain things and certain habits that you're trying to achieve. I also journaled this morning, which was necessary. <sighs> Anyways, <laughs> I am just trying to, um, I'm just going to try to get my mind off of things for a little bit just so that I don't sabotage my day. I want to have a good day today. So that's the plan. I can tell I'm getting anxious because I'm like starting to get like so nauseous. Like I feel like I'm going to throw up. So let me just find maybe like a YouTube video I can watch to distract me because I literally feel like I'm going to throw up. When a teen killer realizes she's been caught. Mm -hmm. Okay, just trying to focus on my breathing.
I'm so tired. <laughs> I've been up for like two hours already. I was just in bed. I ended up editing some of the content that I filmed yesterday. Oh my god, it's so cold. I'm exhausted from yesterday. Um, it was quite hectic. I don't know how much I vlogged. I think I filmed a little bit with my phone. Still was like a good productive day. As you can tell, I got my lashes done. I didn't film my appointment, but I'm going to film my next appointment because I talked to her about it and stay tuned for that next time i go which is in like two to three weeks i'll take you guys along and you can see me get lashed by my lash girl my knee is killing me i put on let me see if i can show you i put on this oh shit i'm pulling it off hold up this is hard i put on one of these to give me some extra support because my knee is fucking killing me and i did so much walking yesterday which probably made it worse Although I have to say, I've been wearing my new balances and they are really nice for walking. These ones, I think I need to buy my mom these. I feel like it would be really good for her as well. <laughs> Random thought, I don't know. I'm just now kind of getting out of bed. I'm gonna wake up blue and have breakfast. I don't think I'm gonna go to the gym because of my knee. Um, maybe I'll just wear a gym outfit today to make myself feel like I did work out. No, my knee is literally so fucked. It's not funny. I think I'm going to have to go get it checked out by the doctor because I think I said it already how I've been, I've had surgery on my knee before and I haven't been back or gotten it checked out in a long time, like years and especially ever since I moved. But if I do it, I'm going to have to get like a new doctor here. Like it's just, it's a whole process I have to go through. I should probably get like a scan done to see how my knee is doing. Because it don't feel like it's doing good. <laughs> oh, God. Ow. Why did that just shock me? I swear that shocked me. What the fuck? Also, I've been meaning to do my nails for like the past week. And I keep not doing it. Because I don't feel like doing it. But I need to do it. And they look so bad. Like... They don't look that bad, but they just look bad to me. Like, some of them have broken off. My cuticles are going through it. I just haven't made the time to do it. Oh God, it's so cold in here. I need to turn on the heating. It's definitely cold now. There we go. I have a video to edit, to upload today. I'm going to ship out vintage orders at the end of the day. Because I had a lot of people order from me yesterday. was such a good boy yesterday um so we went to the vet i ended up getting a shampoo to wash his paws with twice a week so we're gonna start that tonight um talking 105 bucks just to go get him checked out for like 10 minutes and bring him a shampoo but you're all worth it baby don't worry mama gotcha 
<laughs> He's so sweet. But he was really anxious at the vet. He did so well. He didn't bite or anything. He was super, super good. Such a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> but he did so good. He was just really anxious and nervous. And then we also had to wait in the waiting room for like 15 minutes. And he weighs 21 kilograms. I don't know how many pounds that is, but it's a fucking lot. But then also, like, he's just shaped so different than your typical Frenchie. So it's a, it's a healthy weight for him. But for, like, a typical Frenchie, it would be, like, overweight. Like, if you didn't see him and you would read his chart and it would say 21 kilograms, they would be like, what the fuck? Is he, like, what are you feeding him? Like, it's kidding but he's super healthy. Everything was perfect. His skin is perfect. Just, yeah, something going on with his paws. Um, so we're going to try to do cleaning twice a week, see how that works with that specific shampoo. And hopefully it'll fix the issue we've had. I'm going to go through my morning routine. Um, I'm going to film a morning routine again soon. So I don't really want to show like everything in depth in the vlogs because first of all, it's going to make these videos even longer. And then also I want to do like separate morning routines. So that just makes more sense. But... Yeah, I'll see you guys when I've like gotten ready for the day and everything and I'm a bit more awake and recharged. I wish I could film in this setting. I think I've said this before, but the stabilization is so bad. Like, look at this. I'm pretty sure when I edit this, like the stabilization is so bad, but this is so much nicer than when it's like zoomed in. Cause now you can see like the background really nice, but this is probably like super shaky footage. Like, okay, I'm about to go make some coffee. Even though I'm not going to work out, I still put on the outfit I was going to work out in. This is one of the Halara pieces or like sets that I put together. With the tank and the jacket. Again, we'll have a link down below with my discount code. But cute and I'm serving busted me core. <laughs> Ugh. I'm just going to make some coffee right now. Um, I did a little bit of cleaning because I actually had to... I actually have this planned for later today, but I was kind of in a mood, so sometimes if I plan something for later on in the day, but I feel like doing it in the morning, I'll just do it anyway because might as well just get it over with, right? Like, who cares? Um, instead of feeling like I have to stick to my schedule, like to a T, sometimes you can just get things done earlier and it'll just be nice at the end of the day because then I don't have to clean anymore. So I vacuumed the apartment, I cleaned the toilet, and I'm just finishing up some laundry. I just put a load in of black because I wear so much black. My black laundry piles up so fast. So I just put a load in, I'm gonna hang that up when it's finished, and I need to fold and put away some laundry. <laughs> He's so funny. Uh, like I said, I have some editing work to do, but it's a what I wore this week, so I, that's edited like super fast. Um, it's usually a shorter video, but I like doing those in between and they're super easy to film and it's like a nice way to kind of show like my everyday type of style. So I could probably get that edited and like ready to go in less than two hours. And I'm gonna do a content brainstorm. I already started a little bit this morning and last night for Instagram. I've just kind of been making random content for Instagram right now, but I kind of want to have a, like a content calendar and more of like a planned out schedule. Um, so I'm just gonna do a brainstorm today to figure out what I want to do with that. Oh my god. This is a oat milk vanilla latte. No hazelnut today. I didn't want it to be too sweet. Um, so yeah, going to do that brainstorm. I'm going to ship some orders. I need to do my nails and I also need to organize my makeup. So I'm going to get one of the two done today. Probably not both. So we'll just see what happens today. <laughs>
just finished editing and um, all I have to do is finish the description links when I get back home later. But the video is basically all ready. I created the thumbnail and everything. Um, I'm literally so cold. I am freezing. My hands are freezing. <gasps> like today is one of those days where you just want to get into bed and get like nice and warm and cuddled up. But um, okay, I need to print out one shipping label because I just had another order. And then also I need to fix my hair real quick. And then um, actually maybe I'll wear a beanie with a wig because it's cold and it's raining. Sorry, I'm like, my <laughs> mind is all over the place. I just had an email from FedEx and there was a package for me that went through customs. So could you check for me who this is from? Because I literally have no idea. Okay, so apparently there is some type of Ariana Grande PR on, on the way to me, but they're like asking me for proof of payment and I was like, what are you talking about? But I'm just going to reply real quick. Um, what was I saying? I just got sidetracked by that email. I was like, what the fuck is FedEx emailing me for? Apparently I have perfume coming from Ari again, period. <laughs> I'm probably going to go to my mom's for a little bit after i do my packages because i finished work quite early today and it's nice because i don't have any days off this week so if i can get a few hours off today like i'm just gonna take advantage of that and i think i'm gonna bring my ipad and do like uh maybe when i'm at my mom's i can do like some brainstorming on my ipad or something like that <laughs> Angela zei ze is goed geworden. Dit vind ik ook lekker. Ze gaat nu ook al een beetje meer bloemen aan doen. Wat lekker, ja. Ze doet bloedje naar. Dat heb ze nog. Zo. Ik doe dit zo geel. Oh my god. Het is net een leeltje. Ja, ik houd er zo van. Ik houd er zo <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Lekker voorwerk al gedaan. for the day but i just wanted to come sit down and talk to you i feel like i haven't vlogged as much this week compared to the last few weeks um or maybe just not as much as i wanted to but that's okay right because like not every week can be like the same and perfect um so yesterday i ended up going to my mom's after i finished doing my packages ended up staying there for dinner as well and then i came back home and um i even did some work there as well because i brought my ipad and i did some brainstorming for instagram i have a bit more of a vision where i want to go with my instagram now which is nice kind of just spent the night with blue and then i went to bed a bit earlier because i didn't want to go to bed so late i've been going to bed like super late for the past few nights and getting less sleep and i noticed that i'm like super tired during the day <clears throat> hey 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 oh my god he almost put his paw in my coffee. Yeah, I haven't done my nails. I did file them last night because I was going to do them. But with my nails, it's like I need to be in the mood to do them or else like I just don't have the patience. Because if I'm not in the mood, I'm going to 
rush them and they're just not going to turn out good. So I just ended up filing them so they don't look as busted. And I have it on the schedule for today after my driver's lesson. I have a driver's lesson this afternoon. And then when I get home, I should really do them. I think Luke is also coming today. Um, we actually have decided... And I, don't, I think by the time this goes up, it, would already, it will already be announced. But we've actually decided that we're going to quit the podcast just because we don't get to see each other very often. And we only see each other now when we go to record. And we just like, I don't know, like I'd rather like spend time with him and just like be friends than just only record the podcast. You know what I mean? And since we're both so busy and we don't get to see each other often, like it's just not worth it to us to like just do the podcast and then not be able to see each other. So we're actually gonna quit i'm so sorry um like i let i love doing the podcast with him but it was just something we were doing for fun and like i don't really mind if we quit because i mean i still have my luca like <laughs> nothing really changes for me besides we're just not recording a podcast anymore and we get to just like spend more quality time together but that doesn't mean we're never gonna create content together anymore because obviously we still have the podcast youtube channel when we go to like travel and do fun stuff like we will like record some content if we have like fun things to show and we'll post that but it's just not gonna be like the weekly podcast anymore just because it just doesn't seem like it's worth it to us anymore as in like we just would rather spend time together than only see each other to record a podcast like that's like our friendship is so special like i don't not to say that it's ruining our friendship because we are we're really good but i just feel like it's kind of like maybe not a waste of time but it's just kind of like i don't know we could spend our time better and i think we both value our friendship way more than just like a podcast if that makes sense but since I'm still going to do a solo podcast, you know, I guess for you guys, it's not going to be the exact same, but there's still going to be something there soon. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm pretty sure he's coming over today. Not sure what time yet. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you guys. He's looking at my AirPods. He wants to eat them so bad. That's why you're here, huh? Because you saw my AirPods on the couch and now you want to eat them. vagina real hard <laughs> why is it so cold like i don't understand oh my god it's like tears luca ended up canceling on me today fuck you no i'm just kidding i'm just sitting here editing right now but i'm literally so cold and i'm like yawning and i'm just like Ugh, like this is so not the vibe like the, it's so hard to concentrate on editing when this is the vibe you know what i mean <laughs> i only use snapchat for these filters it's just so fucking funny i literally the only person i snapchat is luca and then one of my friends she sends me like videos of her son besides that i don't use snapchat if you were wondering oh god i can't stop yawning this is not okay i don't know it feels like today is just not my day but i'm still gonna make it my day okay because usually i would start my day like that and then i would just kind of give up on the day but I, that's something i'm trying to not do anymore like when it feels like today's not going to be like a as nice of a day as maybe yesterday or the day before like usually i would kind of give up this year we're creating new habits okay so i'm still gonna try to get all my things done my period is coming in a few days so that could also be why that i'm just feeling a bit less like energetic and i'm just a bit more tired and stuff like that and um luckily my mood is stable because of my antidepressants like definitely feeling stable just feeling really tired <sighs> Comment down below if I make you yawn. Because <laughs> I always make myself yawn when I edit. Like, I'll see myself yawn. And I that's why I put it on the screen to, like, comment if I made you yawn. Because I always make myself yawn. I would 
Loki love to take a nap right now. The thing is, I can still continue editing when I get back home. I have all day to edit, right? I want to have a really nice and focused driver's lesson. So I'm thinking maybe I should take a nap. I know this, this is so off schedule, but because I'm just so like tired, I'm thinking maybe I should take a nap because I don't want to like waste my driver's lesson because obviously I'm paying for it and I want to be able to focus. And if I'm tired like this, I'm literally not going to get the focus. Like, so if I leave at 11.45 and it's 10.30 right now, I still have to do my hair. I could nap. I could do like a power nap. Should I do a power nap? Then I don't know if I should go. I don't think I should power nap in my bed though. I should probably go on the couch. And I'm going to take a power nap. <laughs> Change of plans! <laughs> oh, I'm going to cuddle with my with blue. I'll take a nap with blue. That's actually really nice. Sometimes you just need a nap, y'all. Like, I was sitting there trying to edit. And then I was like, dude, I'm just like yawning and just so cold. Like, what am I even doing? And especially since Luca just canceled. I can just continue editing when I get back. Maybe I'll have a bit more energy and I can focus. Let's get comfy. And just to make myself not feel bad about this, I'm gonna vlog it so that I can use it and it's, I can be like, I'm taking a nap for work. <laughs> Hopefully my battery doesn't die. 35 minutes. Let's go take a nap. Come on, my mama. Here. Are you my off for yourself? What's up? I need to take off my socks. Good night guys. See you in 35 minutes. Is he just gonna sit there? <laughs>
just spent so much time on my nails last night and I don't even like how they turned out and I'm pissed <laughs> but I'm gonna show them like this because from up close there's like so much like silver still here one of the jewels already fell off um I don't even think I filmed everything that I did I think I filmed up until the application because I was just so over it <laughs> at that point and then my French was just like the friendships I was trying to do were just not working and I was just like getting kind of frustrated with myself so this is them right now once I do them again I will just film it again and hopefully I can do better and like hopefully I'll be happy with the results um like I said, when I do my nails, I just have to really be in the mood for it. And last night, I wasn't in the mood, but then I was like, I keep, like, moving it to the next day, to the next day. So I have to just do them now, but I really just was not in the mood. So anyways, I just washed my hair. It was very necessary, and I'm getting my hair braided tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I think that's going to give me a little, like, pick me up again. I feel like whenever I get my hair done just brings life into me so um i'm just gonna be editing pretty much all day i have groceries coming tonight my knees doing better today so i think tomorrow i'm gonna go hit the gym i'll probably go before my hair appointment if i wake up early enough because i've been struggling waking waking up early or like my god because it'll be like well i'll wake up it's just like getting out of bed like i'll <laughs> this morning i woke up i ended up planning my day in bed i like answered some dms in bed i was just doing whatever i could just to not get out of bed but it'll be like 7 7 30 and it's still pitch black dark like it's just it's really really fucking with me but before we know it summer's gonna be here i'll be up at like super early and like that's just gonna be really nice anyways i'm just gonna quickly do my skincare and blow dry my hair get dressed and get to work my period is due like within the next two days like i'm kind of at the end of my like pmdd cycle i guess usually when i get my period like within a few days i start to feel a lot better just waiting for that energy to kick back in in the meantime just practicing some self-care because whenever i'm like super busy working i kind of slack on my self-care so this is like the time you know to really do that don't forget to floss
finished my editing work for the day. Um, I give myself like two to three hours to edit on the vlog every day because when I start to edit for too long, I can't focus anymore. Look at this love Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I finished my editing work for the day. I did some work for my podcast and now I'm going to sit on the couch and play some Sims because that's just what I need right now. Like I'm low in energy. I'm really cold. I'm tired. I'm just excited to get my period so that I can get this over with. But I feel like this cycle, my PMDD, like I was able to keep it in, like under control a lot better than the months before. So definitely on the right path. Um, but it's not something that's just going to disappear just because I wanted to, like, or because I changed my mindset. Like, but anyways, I was like, let me go lay on the couch, be nice and warm, cuddle with Lou, and I'll play some Sims because that just kind of, you know, relaxes me. And I'd rather do that than, like, sit on my phone and, like, scroll on TikTok for hours. Oh, oh, I like it, like it. <laughs> Don't eat my face. Isn't he so cute? I will show you guys when I'm finished what I worked on. Eat, 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 eat. <laughs> He's so crazy. Hey! Oh, you're so nice and warm. Do you fart? He farted. I love when he stretches. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay, so let me show you guys what I've got so far. I'm just, let's see. Okay, hold up. I think what I want to show you the most is, okay, first I want to show you the girls' bedrooms. So basically I made like a group of Sims that are meant to be like roommates and, oh shit, let me use the other camera. I made them, hold up, I'm so bad with this camera. I made them all their own bedrooms. Um, should I do it in this one? Okay. This is one of the rooms. I'm doing this with one hand. That's actually really hard. Um, this is one of the rooms. It's like a pink theme. Hold up. Oh my god, this is so hard trying to do this with my camera. Um, it's the pink themed one. And this sim specifically loves to paint. And she loves makeup. I'm not going to try to show her face because it's going to be really hard, but this is her bedroom. Look how cute this is. Like the detail, I just love. Okay, so that's one of them. Then the other one is over here. She's like kind of purple themed. Hold up, let's see. Oh, there she is. Why is she wearing her... Let's change that real quick. She's wearing her outside clothes. Let's put this one on. She's like pretty much purple and like black and orange. Again, you cannot see her. She plays the guitar. She's kind of like in a rock band type situation. That's kind of the idea for her, like making music. Um, and then she has her little vanity over here. How cute. And she has kind of like a gaming thing right there oh i didn't show this side of the bedroom look how cute this is like she has her own little table with, with a journal and like yeah such a serve look how cute that is it literally is like a f let me show you it's a five minute journal that's so cute okay anyways then we have another bedroom. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, my God, I'm going too fast. Let me show you their bathroom. So this is their shared bathroom. They're, like, the richest of the group. So they have the biggest 
rooms and like this is their little bathroom with they both have their own bathrobe and then they have the shower here um sorry this is so hard to show you while i'm trying to hold the camera we have a little reading nook over here how cute is this uh like i'm obsessed with this like isn't that so pretty actually just made this because it was like an empty space um then we have another oh shit we have another smaller bathroom here how am i gonna show this fuck it's so tiny like it's really hard to show um okay kind of like that wait here's the shower this camera is so hard for me to use i usually use this one but it doesn't allow you to do this like it doesn't do that for you so since i want to show you guys their bedrooms i need to use this one okay so this girl has a red theme and she is in college she's one of the students there's two students um so this is her room it's a lot more simple oh my god it's a lot more simple and like student like i guess and she loves the color red so we gave her a red themed room oh 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 there we go <laughs> and then we have okay well that's not interesting here we have the blue themed room this one's so oh let me change her outfit i didn't finish her outfits yet Mm, let's do this one this one's so cute she has like the airpods max um okay let me see where her front door is wait why is this going so fast okay this is her front door and then we go in and boom we're in her room period so she loves the color baby blue or just blue and she has like you see that little blue baton back is not such a cute detail this is where she does her makeup basically let me show you like this that way i can actually move around in the room here's her closet and she is actually oh my god she is actually in university as well she studies biology and she wants to become a vet so yeah it's another room let me see i think i got everything here then we have the oh no okay well this is what i'm working on right now oh my god you guys i'm sorry i really i'm trying to get used to this camera because it's just going to be so much better for filming but i'm still struggling okay so then here we have like a study room. Um, I just have two empty desks over here. But it's not so aesthetic. Like I would love to have this in my own home. Like, yeah. So cute with a pretty view. And then I'm still working on the living room. I was kind of working on the kitchen <clears throat> so here we have the kitchen unfinished and the dining unfinished um i'm thinking i might add one more girl because i feel like okay let me just go back to the regular camera i feel like i could add one more bedroom like maybe over here or well this one leads to the balcony but i could change the door I could change this door over here and then turn this into another bedroom um i don't know yet because i kind of want to do five girls i had a fifth girl but i didn't really like how she turned out so i deleted her from the family <laughs> oh i forgot to show you guys the upstairs oh my god the upstairs is so fun it's definitely not finished yet let me show you so i wanted to make this upstairs because right like you come up let me try to show you how you like actually come up here right so you have these stairs right here so you like walk up right okay cool so then there's a karaoke machine right here super cool 
And then this is kind of like the dance floor area because I created a bar because I wanted the girls to be able to like have parties here. There's a DJ booth. Sorry, still struggling with this fucking camera. There's a DJ booth. And then I created a bar here, and then there's just a toilet over here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like a simple toilet. Still really pretty. Like, how pretty is this view if you're just taking a shit? Um, <clears throat> but then, oh my god, you guys. Okay, let, before I show you the gym, this is their little... Hold on. I need to show you in this mode. I was forgot here is their little like drinks like hangout area so they have like a bar cart with like drinks they can watch tv they can just sit here talk watch the sunset like the view is so pretty like this is such a cool apartment i'd never actually i don't think i've ever renovated this apartment but i'm loving it okay so my favorite i don't know if it's my favorite part Look how cute this looks. Okay. One of my favorite things about this place is their gym. I don't know if I'm finished with it just yet, but so far I'm loving it. I'm like excited to film them like all doing workouts here. Oh, okay. Maybe I need to move this couch from the wall a little bit. <laughs> Ignore that. This is meant to be just mirrors. Yoga match. Oh, sorry, I'm tired and yeah like so cool and then this is where they basically can give like parties and i think i'm still gonna like add some things here again kitchen like pretty and yeah i'm gonna make the living room like right here this is gonna be the living room area i just have to figure out how i want to make it look because i'm not sure yet probably like a super big couch or like a big tv and like i don't know something to play like games and yeah that's what i've been working on on the sims but the i think this room is like my favorite it's the first one i worked on and i don't know like i'm just honestly obsessed like i love this little corner like how cute is that and then like the little makeup area oh her mirror is floating let's pretend that's not the case like how cute is this like little makeup nook yep 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 i love it so cute i also love this little corner okay anyways that's it okay y'all time for a quick grocery haul i just got my groceries in and i wanted to show you what i got let's have a look maybe i should put you further back okay or in the freezer. I got pizza and I got mini pizzas. <clears throat> Just wanted to stock up on some things. Make sure I have enough. Then I bought strawberry mochi. So good. And then I got frozen shrimp to make pasta and frozen spinach for the pasta as well. Okay, that's all in the freezer. Got some strawberries. Everything good. Here we And then, let me put this back. I just finished meal prepping a quick dinner. Got some yogurt. Wait, I need to bring you closer. I'm like rushing because I really just want to leave and smoke. <laughs> I've been waiting for them this whole time. Yogurt. Yogurt, yogurt. I got yogurt. Um, Philadelphia and chicken for blue. I'm pretty sure oh, I do have butter. I didn't know that. Okay, that's good. I'm pretty sure there's mold in here. Hmm, there's not, but it's almost finished. <laughs> Last time there was oranges, which I'm gonna pop in here. I like when they're cold. Got some Red Bull. Got some agave syrup. I think everything else is for in my pantry. Let's go to the pantry. Yay! <laughs> this is a nice 
angle. All right, so. Some food for Blue, which is his favorite. So, I think I'm stocked up on my coffee syrups. I want to try these from the same brand I always get his food from. Some pasta sauce. I got some cleaning solution. Some oatmeal. There was like a deal, like if I got X amount from a certain brand, I got free shipping. So, stocked up on my favorite. Onion. A lot of onion. Fanta. Two eight packs. I'll be good for a bit. That's it. I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I want to smoke so bad. Like, I need to go fix my hair, and I'm gonna get high as fuck. Don't demonetize me, YouTube. Sorry for saying that. I'm gonna fly high in the sky. Um, just with some, with some natural herbs. Let me finish my dinner. Just made some chicken with rice. See yeah. appointment took so much longer than i expected so my schedule for today kind of got ruined but it's okay um let me put my camera on a tripod so i can show you my hair i love it so much i think i'm gonna put it in hot water a little bit more because we only did the ends but i hate when my braids are stiff like when they're stiff at the top hold up <laughs> okay let me take this off i'm fucking sweating i don't know why Here's my hair. Period. As you can see, it's still a little bit stiff, like up here. So I'm actually going to soak it in hot water. She didn't want to do it because she didn't want the curls to like become flat and she wanted to take photos. But I think if I put it all in hot water and then I just put some like curl cream on, they should come back to life. So yeah back to parades y'all period also she put some mousse in it but now it feels kind of a little like sticky so i don't know anyways i'm gonna fix that but so happy with how my hair turned out love it's literally 5 p.m so yeah sorry my armpit is a little itchy right now <laughs> i'm gonna itch <laughs> and he wants to be rubbed <laughs> on his stomach um but yeah, I'm actually going to chill for a little bit and then I'm going to finish editing the vlog tonight. But let me know what you think of my hair. Basically what we did, we just used obviously braiding hair and then we used a pack of, I think it's deep wave or something. Like real human hair for the girl. Whoa! Dude! What is wrong with you? Crazy baby! Crazy baby! Oh, it's a licky licky licky. Oh, it's a licky licky licky. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, anyways, let me know what you think of my hair. 
love it and feeling alive i also got my period this morning by the way which was why i didn't vlog in the morning because i felt like shit like i felt like my uterus was literally being stabbed from the inside out I actually did get a little bit of work done while i was getting my hair done because i brought my ipad and i brainstormed a few more episodes so one of them is gonna be something in the lines of me getting jumped the first day of high school there's so many stories that i have have not told you guys um and just like things i haven't shared online at all like i'm even going to be talking about my dad in the podcast i haven't recorded it obviously but i have an episode that's going to be about my daddy issues and i'm actually going to open up and tell you guys about my dad and my relationship with him and some things that have happened which i've never done so get excited for this podcast you guys i'm gonna like fully be unfiltered and um share my business but yeah one of the episodes is going to be about me fighting and getting jumped the first day of high school oh my god me like in high school and also the years before that just me as a child and like a teen preteen, such a different person you guys would never know the things that i have done <laughs> but just get excited for that i feel like it's gonna open up this new layer of me that you guys don't know yet i love when some of you guys comment like when you hear me speaking dutch and you're so shook especially if you speak dutch and you didn't know i do dutch is my first language um so that's what i speak day to day to like my mom and everyone around me but i speak a lot of english like i use a lot of english words in my dutch like sentences and because i speak so much english for my job i guess like sometimes i don't even know a word in dutch and i only know it in english um but no i'm not gonna do a video in dutch I get this question every now and then ever since i started i will not do a video in dutch i'm so sorry but that's just it just doesn't feel like me like i don't like the language enough to do that and like most of you guys wouldn't understand anyways i'm not gonna do subtitles like nah thanks um your heart keep it in your pocket for safe keeping Never let nobody be the reason You throw it out, you stop caring about it Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall Yeah, sometimes you fall been up for a little bit i just had my breakfast um oh i'm gonna give blue breakfast right now i'm gonna spend like an hour doing some work on my computer before getting ready for the day on my morning walk with blue i'm gonna go to my mom so i'm gonna do that at like the end of my morning routine i'm gonna walk to my mom's with blue and then i'll leave him there for a little bit i'll go ship out some orders because i have to do that really bad um and then i'll go back to my mom's Blue, spend some time with my mom for a little bit then i'll come home a new month is approaching so i do want to make a new wallpaper and like kind of tweak my vision board for the month of, of february i just took some painkillers for my cramps because i was literally dying also making sure that i give my body some time to rest so we'll see how today goes and then tomorrow's gonna be a new week and in a few days a new month i'm gonna do a little reflection of january because the digital planner I have has like a reflection page, which I saw yesterday. And I would already filled it out a little bit, but I just want to finish that as well. I'm just going to prep myself for like a really nice and like productive week next week. Because I know I'm going to get my energy back next week and I got my hair done. So it's just going to be like a fun week. I'll be able to shoot content, which I'm excited about, like all of that. Routine, breakfast dishes. I've been slacking on journaling because um, I noticed that when I journal, I feel so much better and I feel so good to get, you know, my feelings out and really like set an intention for the day. And when I like decide to skip it, like I can always tell a difference. So that's definitely going to be a focus for at least next week is to like pick that back up as well as working out. This week was kind of just I think I worked out 
once. Um, but then also, obviously, my knee was really bothering me. Yesterday, actually, my knee started to hurt again. So I don't really know <laughs> what to do with that. I mean, I should probably go to the doctor, but... Ugh, I just hate going to the doctor for my knees. Like, it's just... I wouldn't say it's traumatic, but it's just, like, I've just... I'm just over it. Like, I don't even want to go and, like, hear any bad news. I don't want them to tell me I need surgery again. Like, I just don't. I'm just trying to avoid it. Whether you've had a good week or not, the week is over. There's nothing you can do about it anymore. All you can do is focus on making next week a good week. So, get your shit together. Go clean your space. Cleaning your space always helps. Like, I don't care what anyone says. Having a nice, organized, and clean space means you can make room in here as well. For me anyways, I think you guys would agree with me. I think this will work for most people. Clean your space, organize your thoughts, plan out your week, get your shit together so that you can start Monday fresh. Because if you don't do that, you cannot expect the next week to change or like be any better if you haven't done anything to make it better. So let's do that shit. We got this, period. <laughs> I just sat here and did a bit more editing work because I didn't finish that last night and I just quickly wanted to do a journal entry. So what I like doing with reminders is you can create like little drop down sections. So I did clean apartment right and I put everything I need to do to clean so I can take it off. Um, the reminders app is really nice for that. I'm actually going to order some of the supplies I need to finish making my journal. Um, like I need to get a paper cutter, I need to get a hole punch for this planner size. I wanted to get a laminator so I can make dashboards and dividers. Even though I can order all of this, I think it's fun to make them myself. I've always been the type that I like to do everything myself. Like if I, especially because I know I can do it, like I can make that. Like it's not that hard for me to do, so I'd rather make it and like have something be more personal and like original. Okay, let's do this one. It's some morning journal prompts. I'm going to save this one too. So there's so many on Pinterest, you guys. Like if you're trying to like find inspiration or you don't know where to start, look on Pinterest. Like there's so much. Okay, I'm gonna do this one. We're gonna start out with how are you this morning, which is a self check-in. Okay, so what I wrote down is I initially felt really drained, but after getting ready and taking a nice warm shower, I lift like it lifted my mood and I feel like I can literally cleanse away my worries in the shower. And like I don't know this might sound so corny because i'm hoping everyone showers but like a shower has so much power like <laughs> i don't know if that sounds weird but i know that like if you are really depressed like self-care can be really hard like even just taking a simple shower can be really hard right but tell me you've ever felt worse like after taking a shower like i've only always felt better after taking like a nice warm shower and cleaning my body and like there's never been a moment that i took a shower and i've regretted taking my shower because it made me feel worse like it always makes me feel better so showers are very powerful and like use them in that way like sometimes because showers are so normal i guess like sometimes like oh just hop in and out quick shower and get ready for the day but actually like taking the time to enjoy your shower and like stand there and like relax and even if it's like a five minute shower, like I feel like it's so powerful and it's something to remind myself. How do I want today to go? Which is about your feelings. So I wanna give myself the space today to still somewhat relax and enjoy the Sunday. Even when I still wanna get things done, I try to give myself just the space and I guess also just mentally like not kind of guilt tripping myself into just relaxing even if it's for like an hour like like i said i'm gonna go to my mom's ship out some packages i'm gonna spend a little bit of time at her place and like i don't want to guilt trip myself into just sitting there and maybe not being productive because that's fine but sometimes i can get in my head a lot and like oh maybe i should be doing something right now or maybe i should be productive which is why i have a hard time like actually taking a day off and not doing anything so I want to give myself the space today to relax while still prepping for the new week or month and just kind of finding a balance between relaxing on this Sunday and then also getting some of my work done. What am I excited for? Getting into a clean, like nice clean bed tonight. How can I show love to others today? I love this one. So I kind of already did this, but I was replying to a lot of DMs when I had breakfast this morning. 
So answer messages and show my appreciation. Last one. Today, I won't. This is like any like low energy things that I don't want to do. Today, I won't. I would say smoke, but no, nah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> Next week's going to be like a new week for me to try and have at least one sober day. At this point, I've still failed. I haven't been able to do that. But I've still been really good and disciplined at like when I'm smoking and like how I've been doing that. So that's going to be a new challenge for next week. I don't think I want to do that today. Let me know if you guys like when I do this or if you would want me to skip, like do it like every other day or if you want me to do it every time I sit down. Y'all, my time management today, just this week in general, has <laughs> been so bad. It's 8 p.m. and I just now finished the vlog. Like, I don't know why it took me so long to find songs that I liked. And then I found this one artist and I ended up like finding a bunch, but. And then I, I don't know. <sighs> I still have to clean my whole apartment. And then I also still need to like have dinner. Like, I'm thinking I might order. So, I got my order in. I ordered McDonald's. Oh. Barely got any fries. Kind of cold. Mm. My shit's like kind of look warm, but. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Today did not go exactly as planned, but anyway, it's all right. I ended up doing some quick cleaning off camera. I still have to do the kitchen and the living room, but I'm thinking I might do that tomorrow so that I can vacuum and mop afterwards. I think I'm just gonna like do that do like a morning clean. Um, I'm just waiting for my vlog to export. We can't be perfect. I still decided to treat myself to a nice takeout meal. I mean, nice. It's fucking McDonald's, but. Mm. It's fucking good. So, my vision board for February is not fully finished. Mm. I was actually working on this while I was at my mom's. And I'll show you a little bit what I got right now. I think I'm gonna make the background black. This is what it looks like right now. It's a little bit different than usual. I was like, let me just try something different. Um, I think I might make the background black and then I just have to fill in these spots. But yeah, just a little bit of everything really. I just want something that inspired me for the month. So there we go. So this one I specifically made in Good Notes, which is photos from Pinterest. Sometimes I'll use Photoshop, just depends on my mood really, but I think I'm actually gonna eat this and finish it. Cause it's almost done. I just have a few more things to add. And I can use it as my wallpaper. Oh, but I can sense a fit. different than what I made last month but I think that makes it fun like changing it up I feel like I want it to be a little bit lighter I didn't end up making the background black because I feel like it just gives a bit of a lighter aesthetic cute let me show you what it looks like So 
So here it is. Let's see. Here it is on my iPad. And then I also have 